Hey guys, Quantic just released their new utility called Cube, Q-U-B-E. Uh, Quantic Finance, as you know, is a dual rewards protocol. You stake Quantic, you earn more Quantic rewards. It's 100,000% APY. You also get the dual reward of BUSD, so that gets paid from the transactions that happen on the blockchain. So you'll get a percentage of those paid to you in BUSD. So the new utility, um, I have a screenshot that they gave to us in Discord, so I'll bring that up. Go ahead and pause the video and you can review it at your leisure. The general idea is they're trying to fight inflation by bringing in this new utility. You can earn BUSD rewards. They have a referral program, which they call the partnership. And based on that, you can, based on people you add to your downline, you can increase the percentage of your rewards. But anyways, so the AMA is about an hour long. They'll describe it better than I can. But I think really what we need to do is we need to see this in action. Once they release it, we'll be able to play with it and we'll be able to see how it actually works. The white paper is supposed to be released in about nine days. They said on the 21st. Today is the 12th. So we'll see if that comes into fruition. But anyways, here's the AMA. It's an hour long. Enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. To because it's just not worth it. It's too risky. Uh, it's better to sort of sit on the sidelines. Uh, we've seen a lot of projects delay, uh, you know, sort of keeping an eye on, and, you know, they've all taken the right decision to delay. Um, so we're looking, hopefully, to launch uh, sometime next week. Uh, Dealer can go into that. Um, and we're going to, like, you know, we mentioned before, we are going to be ramping up marketing for that project, well, that phase of the uh, project. Um, and also include the native token in the marketing as well. Um, aside from that, <coughs> yeah, it has been a tough period in crypto. If everyone's uh, saying staying safe, um, sometimes uh, the best trade is no trade. Dido, you want to go into the specifics of the second phase? Yeah, sure. Um... Did someone speak up? Oh no. Okay. So um, we, we've we've been thinking about what to do, right? Um, you know, we've looked at different options. We looked at you know during the past few months, I would say, right? Um, we looked at you know maybe doing some type of lottery, but you know you need most of the things that we came up. You you need some type of ready volume within the Quantic token, which we didn't have at the time, right? So, and, um, you know, this whole secret project, it's gone through several iterations of, of you know, evaluating and reevaluating as things progressed, right? And so we finally came down to um, what it is. And, um, you know, we've been testing it, um, you know, uh, as you can tell, we've invited uh, Jace's, uh, SG, Brad, They've all been part of the the testing crew, testing the the um, you know the utility, um, and then afterwards, you know, once we lay it out what it is, then you can ask them too if what they think about it. Um, but um, so, what it is the utility, right? So, with the way the market is, obviously, you know, relying on BNB or or some type of coin is is not good in, cur in current market conditions. So this this utility that we're coming out with is also going to be BUSD, right? So what's going to offer? It's we I call it. Um, I mean, there's many names for it, I guess, but it's like um, another passive income in BUSD. Right. Some of the uh, what the offers are is eight percent uh, daily APR um, from in BUSD. Um, so technically, you know, about twenty nine hundred um, APR in in a year. Right. There are referral bonuses, meaning that if you refer people to it, you get eight um, percent, or anybody who refers get eight percent. Um, there are taxes on deposits and claims. 
and um, and there is a mechanism to to compound. Um, so you could compound as often or um, as you want, um, but, you know, based off of the rewards that you're getting um, within this um, utility. Um, but we do we did add a few things to it. Um, we're forcing um, uh, we're forcing people to act within, let's say, forty eight hours if, uh, instead of letting it accumulate the rewards. It won't it won't accumulate past twenty uh, forty eight hours, right? So that means at forty eight hours you stop accumulating. So it requires people to do something with it. And whether they deposit more, whether they um, claim, or whether they compound, which obviously you would want to compound. Um, there are some features that we added in order to make it more sustainable. Um, one of the things is that um, we require people to compound um, uh, like a, a certain amount of compounds before they can claim, right? Um, and there are some rules behind it, which we can go deeper into it. Um, so if you don't follow those rules, then you're going to be um, hit with a fee of 80%. And those 80% will go right back into this, uh, new, this utility, into the contract, um, making it more sustainable. Um, Right. Uh, do you have anything to add to, add to that, um, QF or Harry? Harry has dropped uh, out of the top section oh. for some reason. Yeah. So in a nutshell, it's basically... Sorry, guys, I'm just having a... Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I'm just having a Wi-Fi internet issue, so let me just get on the Wi-Fi. Just give me a few minutes, I'll be back. Yeah, no ahead, you know. So, so basically, that's what it is. Um, it's another. Um, it's not a token. It's it's a utility um, that rewards um, in BUSD to every holder. Um, who goes into it. Now, one of the things that we, we discussed was we needed to make a way to um, open this up and not only be have it for, for Quantic um, holders, right? So, because um, obviously we need um, new people to get in both on the Quantic token as well as this uh, utility. Um, so it, it rewards basically everybody who gets into it. Um, so you may ask, okay, what, what's, what is this going to do for, for Quantic and its holders, right? So the, we added a few bonuses, right? So one thing is we added bonuses to the referral, meaning we have a tiered system within this utility based off of the amount uh, of tokens you hold. So starting from gold, which is the lowest tier, to uh, diamond, um, diamond honors, which is the highest tier, okay? So obviously, the more, the more tokens you hold in Quantic, the more referral bonuses you get, right? Um, so it could be, I think we set it right now, 0.1, percent is the gold and then it starts climbing up up, up until two percent um uh with the highest so that means apart from the eight percent referral you also can get up to two percent depending on number of quantic uh, tokens you hold right and then apart from that also every single time you compound right within the criteria of the rules within the utility, then you also get um, that percentage. But now, however, that percentage stacks. It stacks up to 10 times. So for example, you have, let's say the lowest here, 0.1, 0 0.1. 
if you follow the rules and you and you compound the 10 times, right? That means you get a bonus of 1% once you hit that that level, right? Of stacking bonuses. Um, and then that's 1% is 1% off of your rewards that you have, right? So if you are holding the highest amount, let's say the highest amount of tokens and you're getting 2% stacking, that means you're getting a bonus of 20% on every single compound, right? Uh, as long as you follow the rules, right? On um, further of that, uh, there is a tax in regards to depositing as well as to um, claiming. So part of the taxes will also go back into Quantic to buy back the token. So about nearly half uh, of the taxes will be used to buy back the token to further increase. So the idea is that in this way incentivizes people to buy Quantic in order to get the stacking bonuses and to hold it. And, you know, obviously with more, uh, more they buy, the more rewards you get, right? Also, um, and plus the, the, the whole thing is set up so that it also, as people deposit or people claim, it's set up so that the, the token, the Quantic token will be bought back, right? So that those are some of the benefits of, uh, or incentives for buying Quantic and for the Quantic holders. And we have a few more things to add, but let me open it up right now for, for questions. Raise your hand if you've got any questions. Or Jace's or Brad, or if you have any questions as well. Uh, I don't so much have a question, just more of a something to say, but um, yeah. The 48-hour cap on your rewards and the 80% tax is designed to give the project longevity and to protect everybody involved in the project. So you can't stack a load of rewards and run off with them. And if you claim more often than you should, you're going to be hit with a tax which goes back into the contract, which just protects all of us who are involved and anybody else that gets involved, you know, it is, it's, it's revolutionary. It really is. Correct. Yes. That was put in place so that it protects the whole ecosystem so that certain, you know, folks don't abuse it and, um, and, um, get rewarded with more. Right. So we have a couple of questions. Let me, let me invite Petrus. You can go ahead and accept Petrus. Or if not, Ari? You got the floor, Ari. Yep. All right. I, I don't know if I had missed it because I'm also kind of working at the same time, but you, you were mentioning about like 8% daily returns. And how did you get into this? Like, because uh, this isn't the Quantic token. I think you were saying something about stablecoin. Right, correct. So it's it's something separate. Um, the way you get into it is with BUSD and you deposit into into the contract. Are you able to withdraw it back out afterwards or? So the basically what you put in, it's gone, right? But you're getting uh, a percentage back on a daily basis, right? Um, but in order for it to be sustainable, we encourage um, folks to to follow the rules in order to make this sustainable and overall a, a, a long-term investment where you can every, basically you put back every six days, right? You compound for six days and then you claim on the seventh. So um, that will make, that would sustain the the entire system. So where, I mean, it might be a random question, but where did like the initial, I guess, funding behind this come from? Because I, I feel like this has some sort of rewards pool that this is pulling people's rewards from, or is there not 
or is it? No, well, yeah, yeah. So we would put part of it, um, and there's things I'm going to mention shortly that will will hopefully um, be even more appealing. But um, you know, everyone who puts in or who deposits is putting into the system, right? Yeah. Did Did you have like number breakdown in terms of like what goes to rewards pool, what goes towards the quantum token buybacks directly, or any numbers? Like well, it depends that. on how many people get in, right? So there is a deposit tax, right, of eight percent. About nearly half of that will go into a wallet to buy back the quantum token. So I mean, it depends on how many, how much people put in, right? You know, um, that we don't know. Um, we've seen other similar utilities where, you know, they've gone up into the millions in the contract. So, you know, um, the more people that enter this, the more Quantic gets bought. That answers my question. Yeah. Right. Thank you. All right. Uh, anybody else have any questions? Or in chat? I can check, take a look at chat as well. I see real real aces is 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 answering questions. So the next part, well, so we, we also wanted this to make, to, to make it even more appealing, right? So the idea is obviously it's, it's geared towards helping Quantic holders, right? Um, at least initially, right? Um, but we also thought, I've always mentioned, I love, I would love to partner up with, with other people or, or other projects, right? Um, you know, work together on and benefit our holders as well as benefit their holders, right? With this, we also implemented something called partnership, right? Where a project token can come into the system and also their holders of those tokens would also benefit and get um stacking bonuses so for example if another high apy wants to come in and be a partner right there is there would be some initial cost um, um to become a partner um based off of based off of what their initial cost would be their holders will get x amount of percentage it could be 0.1, it could be 1. I think it's going to be depend on how much they come in with uh, into the project, right? So it helps us, meaning it helps the Quantic token because, you know, as more people buy in, Quantic, um, you know, the we're going to buy back the Quantic and whatnot. But it also, also helps their holders because once they start um, sponsoring the project, let's say using their referral link, right, with their holders. Their holders would also get stacking bonuses on by holding their token, right? So it, it brings in more people. They can use their referral code. That means those projects can use those referral codes to buy back their own token, to do marketing, or whatever it is that they want to do, right? So now you can imagine that someone, if projects do come in and say they want to be a part of this, and now holders can get double bonuses. They can get bonuses on Quantic, and they can get bonuses on the projects that they hold that do come into the system. So that is one thing we're adding. And so um, we can at any time you know, add um, partnership tokens into the contract. Um, it will check um, uh, to see if you're holding the token, that token, as well as to, to check to see if you're holding a minimum amount, and that would be specified by the, the, the partnership deal, right? And then it will allocate um, bonuses to, 
two holders. So that's one of the things that we added to the contract um, to help incentivize everybody to come, come in. Projects are going to, you know, profit from it. Quantic is going to hope, you know, uh, get bonuses as well. You know, um, yeah. So that's one of the nifty things that we added from, from to this. Any questions? And uh, just to clarify, go Sorry. ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say there's an auto compound and withdrawal feature as well. Which you can turn on or, or Ooh, off. That was my next thing. You blew it, Chase. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of questions in the chat about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess I guess you blew it, but but yeah, no. So so I'll I'll go to the next thing, right? <laughs> we did, <laughs> we did add automation to it. The entire thing can be automated. So you, you okay? So since there are some rules to keep. You know, whether you, if you don't have bonuses, you don't have to do, oh, uh, let's say, for example, one of the rules is you need to uh, compound every 12 hours plus, right? In order to start uh, stacking up your, your you, you know, your stack, your compound bonuses. Um, obviously, some people may not have Quantic, and we didn't want this to be only about Quantic. We wanted anybody to be able to enter. So if you, you know, the, if a person doesn't have Quantic or doesn't have the partnership tokens, you know, they can compound every four hours, six hours, whatever. So instead of, you know, people setting timers to remember to compound, whether you're following, you're trying to get the stacking bonuses or not, or whether, you know, whatever, you know, we made it so that's automated for you. We follow the six plus one automation, meaning you only specify the, the, um, the number of hours in between you want to compound. So, for example, if you want to compound every 13 hours, every 13 hours, it's going to compound for you. And on the seventh day, it's going to wait 24 hours before it sells. And it will send the money, the, in this case, the BUSD, directly into your wallet. It will do everything for you. So if you want to compound, if you don't have the bonuses and you don't care about, you know, let's say uh, following the, the, the 12 hour plus rules in order to get the stacking bonuses, fine. You can auto compound every four hours, every five hours, every eight hours, whatever it is that you want. It's all there. It's all automated. We've been testing the heck out of it. It works flawlessly. Um, yeah. So uh, thanks, Chase. <laughs> So yeah, those are the, the nifty features that we added. So it will, there is automation, complete and totally automated for you so that you don't have to, basically you can set it and forget it. Every seven days, you'll just be getting BUSD. The next thing is the partnerships, which is a way for us to, to even, you know, uh, get more people into this, more projects into this a way for it, this to grow even more um, and everyone who holds their tokens or Quantic tokens will get um, benefits to it. Questions? Be sure there, when's, when's the white paper going to be available? So I will be, yeah, we, we didn't want to post it ahead of time, but uh, I'll be working on the white paper. We'll be posting this, um, um, and then hopefully in the next few days, I'll be posting the white paper. Um, our current tentative um, time frame for release right now is um, May 21st, but obviously it's going to depend um, on the market and market conditions and things like that. But, but at the moment, um, tentatively, we have May 21st as the launch. So we'll have everything, the white paper, everything updated. That includes the, uh, all of this information. Awesome. This is super exciting. Uh, I mean, we're, we're all already getting BSD rewards, and this is going to supercharge those. Uh, obviously, you can put in more B BSD if, if you want from, from other sources, but, you know, uh, that and then in encouraging quantic holding uh, for, for additional rewards. Uh, I think you really nailed it. 
Okay, let me post something. This is from our test. Um, I'm going to post it in, in the main chat. This describes it a little bit better. Um, and then let me show a screenshot uh, of the other stuff. Obviously, these are tests. Um, anybody who's listening, this is uh, um, from our testing. So you know, keep that in mind when you're when you're when you're looking at these screenshots. Don't ask away. Guys, don't be shy. Guys, end up in the stages. Go ahead and um, ask any questions yourselves. Or if anything I missed, might have missed, um, you can go ahead and um, um, by the rest of the people. So just to clarify something about the partnerships, um, you know, if we if we make a partnership, um, it's not just the the partnership holders that um, benefit from holding that coin. Anybody can then go out and buy that, as long as you reach the minimum amount held necessary. Um, you can then go out and buy that token, and you will also receive those to um, those partners partnership benefits, right? So then you'll be getting the benefits from holding Quantic, and you'll also be getting the benefits from holding the partnership token. It's it's not just for the partnerships holders. Anybody can go out and, you know, and, and you'll be getting the stacking bonuses. Uh, yeah, there is a limit. Obviously, um, you know, we don't want somebody to come in with a million dollars to, to, you know, to, to, um, you know, get all the rewards and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think we have it set right now at 20k is the maximum. 10, 10 BUSD is the minimum. Now that doesn't mean that we could. Um, increase it now let me explain so let's say some partner or another token wants to get into the project and they want to put in a hundred thousand dollars because they want more percentage for their holders right so we can um we'll accept that into let's say a wallet that we would control and we would deposit it for them so that we can exceed the the 20k as an example but the thing is, is that no one will have access to that wallet it won't be compounding it won't be selling it's something that feeds into the system to make it even more sustainable no you can't uh you can't deposit quantic um you can only deposit busd Um, we could Referral rewards. Um, yes. So there are off the bat, there's a base 8% referral reward on buys, meaning on deposits only. Uh, you don't get referral rewards on, on compounds because it makes the system less sustainable. Right. But I mean, uh, and then you have your, your bonuses and that also, um, affects referral so for example on top of the eight percent let's say you're at the highest level of quantec um, and you're getting two percent stacking bonuses when you compound right but when you refer people you would also get two percent on top of the eight percent so for a total of ten percent um of um 
whatchamacallit, um, when someone deposits, as well as the partnership token. If your partnership token adds, let's say, 0.5%, um, then it adds whatever Quantic you have, you know, percentage of Quantic uh, bonus plus the percentage of uh, partnership bonus, and then that will add to the referral. So it's eight base plus your bonus from Quantic plus your bonus from partnership. Um, yes, that's correct. Um, was it I, I see Fortnite kid? Yeah. So obviously the more people buy in because it's incentivizes in, in two forms, right? One is part of the taxes go into buying back the Quantic token. And then second, um, it incentivizes people if they want to receive more rewards and more stacking, um, uh, bonuses will incentivizes people to buy um, Quantic so that they can start getting, you know, um, those bonuses. Now, obviously, since there are five tiers of bonuses, not everyone's going to be afford, you know, uh, be able to afford to go up to the fifth tier, right? But re remember, Quantic is an APY token, right? So maybe you can buy up to a certain point that you feel comfortable or that you can afford it or whatever, right? And then you let it compound. Over time, you know, if, as long as this goes and for, for, for a long, very long time, which we hope it will, your, your, your rebasing may get hit those other tiers over time. I hope that answered your question. I see Fortnite kid. And raise your hands, if you guys, if you want to ask any questions. Can uh, you guys give us some idea around the marketing push that's going to go with the launch? I'll What's let I'll let Harry answer that one. Is he still on? I wasn't sure. He's on. We can't hear you, Harry, if you're talking. So I know we're, we're going to have pushes. Um, um, I mean, I'll let him, I'll wait to see if he pops in. Um, but I know that he is, you know, we're going to do AMAs. Um, we're going to do um, YouTubers. Um, what else? We're reaching out to see if we can partner up already with other tokens. Um, Hello? There you are. Sorry, I've been here this whole time. I don't know I don't know why it's acting up. You can hear me now. Yes. Okay. So yeah, obviously around uh the launch we're gonna be ramping the uh marketing up. Uh so we're speaking to some influencers who um can spread the word out on uh Telegram. Uh we're being a bit selective with them, obviously. Um, we're also going to be doing a um, YouTube campaign uh, with people who have a following. Um, so they'll obviously be sharing their referral links, you know, and getting in people underneath them, um, which will boost the um, the pool. Um, we're also going to be doing a campaign on uh, Moonark. Uh, which is at the moment the hottest ground for uh, this type of uh, project, uh, if you want to call it that. And um, I mean, it's, it's one of the main things obviously is with the referral bonus that you guys get 8% on everyone that comes underneath you. Um, it's, you know, it, there's a big emphasis on the community marketing, well, not marketing itself, but spreading the word. And obviously you're incentivized to do that because you'll get 8% of whatever people put in underneath you. So, you know, if you manage to get 10, 15 people underneath you, uh, you could essentially 2x on your investment, maybe even more. 
um, depending on how many people you get and how much they put in. But yeah, we will we will have a marketing campaign around it. Uh, YouTube's pretty big, these type of things. So we, you know, we're we're focusing on what has, is working for this type of uh, project. Does that answer your question? Hello, can you can you guys still hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I would take that. I would take it as the as yeah that answer it. Let me answer a few more questions really quickly. Um, so there was questions about early withdrawal tax, right? So yes, it's eighty percent. The there it's it's more like um, a feedback fee or, or something to that effect. What it does is that if you're not following the 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 rules, meaning you're not compounding um, in order for your stacking bonuses, right? And, and, and incentivizes people to stack and incentivizes people to choose to automate. Um, so the idea is that every time you um, compound when it's more than 12 hours, um, it will, um, your compound count would increase up to a maximum of 10. And that's how the, the bonuses work as well, right? So you're, it's basically your, from the bonus perspective is, is that adding the bonus multiplied by the compound count equals your total percentage bonus, right? And so it incentivizes to, to make, make sure people, you know, uh, compound uh, every 12 hours plus, okay? When people don't do that, then there is a tax of 80% because we've seen in other similar type utilities where people abuse the system and, um, and don't compound or don't do things that in order to make it sustainable and injure the product, uh, injure the, the project. And thus um, we added the 80% tax. All it does is that from your reward, let's say your, Let's say you're someone has a hundred dollars worth of rewards, right? And if they're not following it, that means when they claim um, eighty dollars of that will go right back into the contract, and then they'll be able to claim twenty dollars, right? It, as long as people follow the rules, then by the sixth day, right, or the fifth day actually, um, they will be able to claim without any tax. So after you know. Uh, 10 times of compounding 12 plus hours, um, it, the, the, the 80% tax will get removed automatically for you. And then obviously you can continue uh, compounding for as long as you want, but then the moment you, you sell or you, you, know, you claim, it's, it's not going to tax you. Now, here's the thing. The moment you, com you, you um, claim, everything the the compound count resets back to zero so now you have to start over again with the five days getting it up there and then once after five days again it will remove the 80 percent tax it's so that it makes it more sustainable uh if i may uh this this utility is so 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 unique and it combines uh, the best of many different utilities in one. And we've been monitoring how all these utilities went, how are they going, how are they doing, and what needed to be fixed in them to be even better. And this is the product of, of ingenuity by the team and the experience from the market so it's totally a unique thing uh it's gonna and as as long as someone is uh, a, a serious investor that needs that passive that passive income uh which can be huge uh every every single week uh this this system is sustainable and it's you cannot find anything like it in the market so there was a question about uh, can you micro compound, right? 
Um, you, any person can compound manually as often as they want. Obviously, you're going to be paying uh, gas fees, right? So if you put in a big amount, yes, you could technically, you know, compound every minute. Um, for the automation, we have a minimum of four hours, a maximum of 24 hours. So you can specify every four hours, every eight, whatever it is, up to 24, right? Um, and then you just set it and forget it. Um, but obviously the whole thing is, you know, we, we had, you know, the, the mechanism referral, I saw something about the, the referral stuff, right? It's, it's more as, is an incentive uh, for people to try to um, get more people into it, right? Um, unlike other utilities where you compound and the referral gets those rewards as well, we don't do that right here in this one. This one is strictly um um uh, only on a deposit where you get uh the refer gets gets a small bonus right um minimum eight percent you know and plus a little extra more depending on the bonuses right and so that's more of, of an incentive to hey reach out to other people get more people into it right um and then thus obviously it helps sustain it even longer you know but it, it isn't in, in like it isn't in in indefinite referral system where the the your your people when people are compounding you're not getting their referrals you know constantly right so it's only basically anytime someone deposits you get a little quick bonus um, fee right or fee yeah uh, bonus uh, percentage um, but it's meant more like hey thank you for referring here's your bonus right but that's it you're not constantly getting it unless people are constantly deposited but you don't get the maximum i mean maybe i i read the question wrong there when i said no but he asked you you can't micro compound for maximum rewards because you can't do that right it has to be 12 hours no, plus you can do you can do it manually right you can compound it every minute right um but you're paying gas fees so it, you know you i don't know if you want to spend more on gas than what the rewards you get right but you're also not picking up the rewards either if you compound every minute because you're outside of the 12 hour plus correct well uh, you get um you get you still get the bonuses depending on your count right so since you have to let's say someone could technically um, um compound you know a few times every 12 hours to get a little bit more bonuses and then if they want to they can compound every every minute or whatever but you'll they'll probably be paying more in gas than than what the rewards get right unless they put some massive amount of money into it um i it just doesn't for me it doesn't make sense because you're probably spending more in gas than than anything and the way we did for the automate we have a minimum of four hours so every four hours minimum it will auto auto compound for you Hey, Dila, I have a question. Yep. The the partner tokens, is there a limit to how many projects we can get involved? No, in there's the no list? limit. There's no limit. You can so, have as many partners as we want. So technically, we can technically have like 20, 30 communities That's correct. participating into this pool, which helps the volume for, for both us and them, correct? Yeah, correct. Yes. Mm. Uh, is it is it okay to have the community like our members who are involved in other projects right now if they're involved or if they're you know no if they're invested in a good project that they know of to have them contact or reach out to those devs and see if they want oh, to participate? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right? Because we we uh -huh. you know there's there's so many projects out there, right? Uh -huh. So many tokens we've never heard of and whatnot. 
Yeah. It's it's in the best interest of of if you're if someone is getting into this, it's in their best interest to see which tokens could you know partner up, right? We're we're willing to work with anybody and everybody out there. In obviously, they have to have a BSC type token, right? It can't be like a, a, a Solana token or Polygon token because obviously we're it, there's no way that this um, can see if you're holding those type of tokens. But but it has to be a BSC token. So you right, know anywhere right. from anything from Safe Moon and you know any any right. of the BSC tokens. Yes. We could. Um, so, so technically, the even the holders can eclipse to a crazy amount of holders because it's not just the Quantic community. It can literally be, possibly, you know, ten other projects. Uh, yeah, correct. Uh, because if you so think about the, it, they, the holders can know. get like fifty thousand, sixty thousand if if it gets crazy enough. Yeah. Yeah, correct. So, so, so let's say, as an example, you know, there's a several high APY tokens on the BSC network, right? Let's say one of them gets in, right, and and you know buys in, and you know they they um, start promoting it as well because you know they want their holders um, to use their referral link so that they can help um, you know get some referral um, rewards as well as the bonuses rewards, right? Um, and so that they way that way they can buy um uh their token back or you know use the money for marketing their token and whatnot right overall it helps because they're 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 trying to get more people into it you know um it helps the ecosystem it helps quantic it helps their own tokens that's for me that that was the way a partnership should be where it helps all the you know both tokens right not only ours but it helps theirs so yeah, if anybody knows any projects that wants to come on board, bring them in. We're 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 happy to to partner up. I'm already talking with a couple. Dilo, do you want to address uh, Yanni Boy's question in the chat uh, from uh, eighteen fifty? The time on it seems to be some confusion around it. Uh, the amount of compounds um, and the time frame. Yeah, let me let me look through, see what he's asking. I just tagged you with the question. Yeah. So so in order to receive the stacking, well, yes, a person could technically compound every four hours, every five hours, every one minute if they want to, right? The thing is that they won't receive the comp the the stacking bonuses, right? Or they won't their compound count won't increase and thus won't receive the stacking bonuses right so in order to start receiving the stacking bonuses you need to follow the 12 plus hours compound um timer right meaning that um if i compound let's say right now it's um it's 2 p.m eastern almost right let's say i compound at 2 p.m eastern right I have to wait until 2 a.m. Eastern or a little bit over 2 a.m. Eastern to compound again in order to increase the counter, right? And then again, uh, 12 hours after, uh, after that, uh, again to compound, right? In order to continue increasing the, the count uh, up until 10, 10 is the maximum. So basically, uh, and why do you want 10? Because 10, you multiply the bonuses, the sum of the bonuses times that counter. And that is the bonuses that you receive. So if someone has 2% in between Quantic and the partnership, and they have 10 as the counter, that's 20% that they're receiving bonuses on compounds after that, right? Now, we, we encourage people to use the automate because the automate makes it more sustainable. It does it for you. So you can specify, let's say, for example, 13 hours. It does it for you. Every 13 hours, it compounds for you, thus hitting the, the compound count, right? Um, and then on the seventh day, it will claim for you and you'll receive your, your money directly into your wallet, your BOSD. Uh, also worth mentioning that if you are using the automate feature, which you're encouraged to do, you don't set it for 12 hours, you set it for 13 because um, 
uh, well, do you want to you pick up on that, Dilo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the thing is, is that, yes, while the, the DAP is 12 hours, right? It, it shows you the countdown of the 12 hours. Um, when, when we're processing it, sometimes it may go over 12 hours, you know, it might go a little bit under, might go a little bit over. And so um, by a few seconds where you miss the cutoff, so, for example, let's say it runs at 12, um, um, you know, let's say let's up to, up the top of the hour, right? Let's at 12 p.m., right? But it instead runs it at 12 and 12 p.m., seven seconds. And then the next time it runs for you, let's say it's at 12, two seconds, right? Um, then it you missed it by five seconds. So in order for it to really work the, the 12 hour just to be safe, I suggest everyone do 13 hours if they're going to do automate, right? Uh, and that, for sure, you're guaranteed the 12-hour plus, right? Um, now, if someone asked about the gas, so there is a fee for, for to use the automate. Now, we, we incur the gas cost for you, right? So instead of someone manually, you know, spending gas every single time to compound and to claim, we incur that cost for you. And thus, that's why we need to charge a 1% uh, tax fee off of the rewards. For, for the actual investor, they don't have to pay gas when, when they automate, but it's, it's taken as, as a fee. It's, it's actually very simple to use uh, if you need to automate and and go by the um, by the best like let's say not the best like the the standard system that you need to do the ten uh, compounds and everything you just need to press that automate button it's already displaying the thirteen hour uh, setting so you just uh, activate that and you set it and forget it and that's all you need to do to to have an excellent performance yeah it's it's great to have something where where it does everything for you basically um oh brad lost um um yeah so that's why we built it in within within the contract as well um we we have something outside running it as well but um it it does it everything for you um we've been testing the heck out of it um and it's at the moment it's been flawless um we do have things where where you know there's people that try to exploit things so we made it so that um if you have it turned on right the the automate you can't you can't claim outside of it you can't compound when automate is turned on um and you can't um you can't buy either because then it, it will screw up the thing as well so so if if someone wants to compound manually or wants to claim um manually right um they would need to first disable it Questions? Hey, Brad, welcome back. Thank you, sir. Uh, no. So, uh, so in regards to the question from Yanni Boy, no, you can't redeposit if auto is enabled. So, um, because the redeposit internally, it, it also kicks off a compound. Um, so we you need to disable it and then you can go ahead and deposit and then you can re-enable it. Um, then that's it. Um, first mover advantage here, right? Um, what do you mean by that? Sorry, Satush. Satush. Uh, I think he means like uh, you're the first one to there's several functions that you're the first one doing it. Well, I mean, it, 
Yeah. So like you have the I think the the partnership is definitely the first one, right? You know, I mean, um, it depends on the the. Yeah. I don't know exactly how to answer that because um, there's just too many scenarios, right? But um, the thing is, is that even if you were the first one, you still have to, you, everyone is in being enforced to to follow the rules. Otherwise, you're, you're, you're not going to be able to, you know, you're going to be taxed heavily. Let's say, for example, the 80% uh, claim rewards, right? So, um, Yeah, and then, you know, someone else who comes in, let's say, later, it's, it's, since everything is based off of BUSD, as well as, you know, the bonuses, everyone can have different bonuses, depending on the way they, um, uh, the amount that they hold, right? You know, the idea is to get a lot of partnerships as well um, onboarded. Um, you know, that adds uh, exclusively to the contract without uh, it taking out. Right. So the idea is to ever increase or ever partner up with tokens um, that will increase the, the amount in the contract. Um, and then, you know, make this more even more sustainable. And then overall, hopefully, you know, over time, the Quantic token, um, you know, will be bought back um, and rise as well. A good question that I got is like sometimes uh, uh, like uh, people sometimes ask like why BUSD? So with what's going on in the market, I find it very useful to to just uh, let people know the difference between the, the so-called stable coins, right? So BUSD is a powerful real stable coin backed one-to-one -one with real money. Uh, in the case of uh, Luna and all the, the drama that we're seeing in the market, those are algorithmic stable coins. So in the, at the end of the day, those are not real stable coins by definition. So BUSD is the, probably for me, it's the mightest and safest and long-term uh, stable coin there is. So it's the best choice all the time. Yanni Boy asked about um, the miners having inflation, Dilo. Do you want to touch on that? Um, there is, um, there is um, inflation, but we've minimized it as much as possible so that the inflation is very minimal. Obviously, we still, you know, require people to get in. Like any token, um, you know, it, it does require people to buy in, right? Um, there is inflation, but we've reduced it massively so that it's um, not as harmful. In regards to the tiers, um, so there's five tiers right now, starting with gold, um, platinum, platinum honors, diamond, diamond honors. Um, at the moment, um, I think uh, from a percentage standpoint, and obviously everything can change, right? Um, we made it so that we can change the the percentages at any given moment, just in case, just um, in case it's it's not um, working as well, or we wanted to give more benefits or whatnot. Um, right now, I think gold is 0.1, platinum is 0.5, 1, 1.5, and 2% for the others. Um, in regards to the token holdings. Um, obviously we want, we want to encourage people to buy. So the lower tiers will probably be easier and, and, and cheaper to buy than, than the higher tiers. I can't say really what, what it's going to be right now, what the tiers are. We will just towards around launch, we'll have to see how Quantic is doing. Right. And then based off of that, um, um, that will be, you know, we'll select the the number of tokens to hold for each of the tiers. Now, over time, we may, you know, change things, you know, either increase it or decrease it or whatever it is, depending on how Quantic is doing. Um, will the lowest tier be above 1 million? Um, I don't know. It'll probably be a little be, it, it depends on what the Quantic, uh, value is at that time when we launch, right? 
Uh, and then it will be determined, right? I mean, obviously, if Quantic continues to go, let's say, uh, go down, then it might be, you know, potentially it could be, you know, uh, more Quantic in order to get into it, right? Um, but it's it's all going to depend on on how the market is, how Quantic is doing at the time we launch, and then we'll we'll set the initial uh, tiers and the bonuses, and then um, and then go from there. I just wanted to quickly add, uh, so people, I think someone mentioned something about the first mover's advantage. Um, we are going to be doing a biggest buy competition. Uh, so we'll, whatever the biggest buy is, we'll get early access to it and get in sort of the ground floor. Um, we're just working out the mechanics of it, but stay tuned. We are going to be making an official announcement where whoever makes the biggest buy from a certain period and meets the conditions will get the um, early access. So stay tuned for that, guys. Yeah, in regards to, to uh, let's say, holding Quantic for long term gives a bonus. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to make the tiers in such a way that, um, you know, obviously the more you quantic, you know, uh, tokens you hold, you know, the more bonuses you get, right? Obviously, if you can't afford it, then you may have to hold on to it and let the rebase do its thing in order to get to those tiers later on down the road. Um, but we will make it so that it's, it's, you know, it does require holding. It does require um, maybe waiting for your rebases to, to get up into those tiers if you can't afford buying a whole bunch right so yes in in, in essence it will reward long time holders right uh, mister asked a really good question here as well um will the additional buybacks of quantic from the three percent tax also trigger the quantic buy tax and distribute bsd to quantic holders <laughs> we sorry <clears throat> um i've thought about that but the, here's the thing, right? So if we do, my thought is that wallet that does the buyback will be tax uh, will be taxed on Quantic, right? Because otherwise, it's if if we don't do that, it's going to buy back the token, and then in, and then the contract is going to sell, right? And so the thought is, well, you know, we don't want that wallet to to incur those. Every time it's trying to buy back, it makes is, makes the contract sell, right? So um, it will probably be tax free for that buyback wallet. Uh, it's going to be buying back uh, with no tax, so that it doesn't increase the contract sales. And then you know, um, contract sales will only happen on when actual people buy and sell. Yeah, hopefully that answered that question. Any other questions? Comments, guys? So it's more likely a burn instead of a buyback. Uh, no, it's definitely not a, a burn. It's buying back and thus increasing the, um, the chart, right? Because it's going to show up as a buy within the chart. Um, the more people who enter, um, we're calling it, oh, by the way, we're calling it Quantic Cube. Uh, it, more people who enter Cube, um, you know, the the more buybacks will will happen, and so basically, it's you'll see. You know, um, actually, Jace Cube um, with a Q, oh. uh, <laughs> and so it's yeah. So it's not a burn; it's an actual buy. It's imagine just imagine a wallet that is just constantly buying and buying. The only difference is that it's going to be tax free, and it won't sell. We'll we'll probably later on burn those burn the tokens on on that wallet.
question. So ETH project can't participate. Right now, at the moment, no. I mean, they could, but obviously there's no way for us to check uh, another chain's token. Um, I have been thinking of, of, I have to see if there, if it's even feasible. Like, you know, let's say after this launch, a little bit down the road, maybe launch on a different chain. But I, we have to see if there is a way to be able to read cross-chain um, in order to get those uh, type of bonuses. Um, we'll see. I don't know. At the moment, there there's no way to do cross-chain. So yeah, I encourage people to to if they know of projects that would benefit um, um, in BSC that that you know that will benefit their holders, you know, benefit getting in, um, benefit themselves, whatnot. You know, reach out to them, tell them to come over here, we'll and we can partner up. Um, yeah. Um, it, like I said, we, we, we did look into like the different things that we can do. This was the best scenario that we, we saw that could bring in new investors and raise the Quantic uh, token at the same time. Um, we do have, you know, ideas of once, if, if this does generate, um, um, what we wanted to generate, meaning that we get more investors and it becomes, you know, volume increases and whatnot. Yeah, definitely we'll look into um into doing things, more things. Any other questions? Blockchain. <laughs> All right, let me see if there's any other questions. Did I miss any? Let's see. Let me just... 